Hey guys, Zach Man coming at you. It's been a while. Um, going to be starting a new video series here on uh, Forex trading. Um, like I said, I was in the market uh, for cryptocurrency, especially Tron TRX, but just nothing's really been panning out over the last year of doing it. Um, still doing crypto mining, obviously, but uh, just kind of building up uh, some of the coins there to, you know, maybe someday next year or two years from now, maybe we'll see a little bit of a gain there. But anyways, um, so back into the game now. Uh, I've been focusing on Forex uh, trading. Um, been doing some demo accounts, some live accounts, some good, not so good, but just trying to build up a, a decent system. Been doing a lot of studying, uh, YouTube college, or rather a few books here and there. Um, you know, trial and error, failure, all that kind of fun jazz. So um, basically, we're going to start off with uh, um, what the series is going to be called. It's going to be called uh, uh, Micro Profits. Profits, sorry, I can't talk. Micro Profits FX or Micro Profit Forex. So, um, just a little bit. Obviously, I'm in a live trade right now. Um, and I basically just, you know, it's $10. So, um, I took two trades actually, but the first one I'm going to talk about is the one that I'm still in is the Euro uh, British Pound um, right now. Uh, as you can kind of look, I'm at the four hour chart and I'll kind of explain the system and kind of how it works. But, uh, Kind of zoom in here. Um, so I got in this one yesterday or last night. Um, right here, somewhere in this. Well, let's just look at it here. I got in at 86339. Okay. So it's right where this arrow is as far as your divergence, which we'll kind of touch on that here. So it was a real, obviously you can kind of see where the line is there. I just wanted to make sure that um, that was the right date. So that's where we got in. And right now, um, if I kind of scroll up, hit the button here, about 114 pibs up. Um, and I got a stop loss of about 300, 300-ish, let's say. Um, but obviously my take profit is going to be way up here which is going to be right around 15, 13, um, which actually that's not really it because I do, a, I have a forex trailing stop. So I have it uh, set back with the risk of uh, one to three um, with a trailing stop. So if it continues to go up and hit that, it's just going to take it out no matter what, but that's just my, just in case it keeps going. But if it goes up and then it kind of falls back down, it'll, it'll I have a stop loss that'll drag up um, 300 pips once it reaches 500 pips. So um, just for a fail safe and then once we get up uh, past this resistance zone I'm going to raise up the stop loss to break even so if it does happen to retrace whatever I'm not going to be out any money so um, that's pretty cool about that but uh, how the system works is pretty simple I have five uh, rules uh, to my key of success um, or we're going to try it out anyways um, but uh, I've been following it uh, lately um, I know this week um, I didn't start until yesterday but um, I've been watching like I said I've been kind of practicing here and there I know if you look at the Audi CAD, um, you kind of see right here was a good entry point. We had some uh, diver uh, divergence right here to kind of signal um, a buy. Um, right here is the trend, so we kind of see the trend. So the five keys are pretty basic. Uh, we look for support and resistance, which right down here, uh, the blue line is support, red line is resistance. So down here, we and of course, we have a channel, um, which these lines will act as support and resistance as well. Um, but we can kind of see the trend is definitely up, as you can tell by the channel here. The green arrows so the channel is going up so we have an uptrend um, we have a support a double support really and we have divergence down here um, so that enters and we have uh, these uh, red and blue X's kind of tell me like the momentum swing basically which is kind of nice so it tells you when there's a lot of uh, momentum switching um, obviously we have a lot of buy momentum happening and then once it starts turning red there's a lot of red momentum so that kind of helps me indicate when to enter as well Usually I wait for about two or blue, um, depending on, I, I'd use the, I do the higher time frames, which is daily or the four hour, um, is kind of what we use for that. So, um, like I said, if you look at the daily, we had support as well. Um, and you had divergence actually on this candle, it looked like, but, uh, so it was a good entry. Um, unfortunately I didn't start, uh, didn't have any funds available to do it. I was just kind of been sitting back watching the market. I wanted to start with a really, really the smallest balance that we possibly can. 
just to see if we can actually grow a micro account and see how fast we can grow it. Um, if not, if it blows it, then we'll have to start over the next week. But usually I take a break and refocus and start again the next week. So um, this is the first full week that we're actually trying it, though. So we'll kind of see how things go. Hopefully it goes good. Um, I did have another trade yesterday, which we're going to talk about as well. It was the um, pound versus the uh, New Zealand or the Kiwi. Um, unfortunately, this one did not turn positive, uh, which we'll go over that too. So again, it was a good signal. Um, the trend is obviously down. We have a channel. Um, we have resistance up here. Uh, we had divergence, which was right there, um, which I did get in on a little late, actually. So that was probably my fault. I should have got in uh, on this candle up here. Um, but unfortunately, I got down here, which stopped me out at my... Um, stop loss which is right at that line uh, actually it was a little bit less than the line yeah it was right there so uh if i would have had it just a little bit higher i would have been all right but unfortunately like i said I sh if i would have entered right this is the key um actually it was this candle so right here is where we have the signal to the divergence but obviously i didn't the moment the, the momentum didn't change yet so i was waiting for this one to turn red for the x there and I was kind of seeing if it would touch it again, but obviously we had uh, one, two touches already for the resistant part. So I was kind of hoping that it would uh, do it again, but it didn't. Um, and then by the time I got into it, it was down here, uh, which it kind of went down really quick, but then it bounced up as you can tell. But now it's actually back in. So if I would have got in here, it never would have hit. I would have had my stop loss higher and we would have been in profits as well there. But uh, that was kind of a late entry. So we kind of learning as we go not to make those mistakes. Um, but it does happen, and obviously you can't win them all, unfortunately. And I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an expert, guru, nothing like that. So um, I don't know what your uh, everybody's work uh, ethic is like, but uh, you have to kind of you know sit back, have uh, patience, all that kind of fun stuff, which uh, we'll go over as well in the next uh, videos as we're making them. But uh, five keys. Um, we're looking at support and resistance, the trend, um, and also uh, divergence risk versus reward i usually like to make trades that i have a one two or higher uh risk um so you know one to two on that or higher and of course of course the important part is patience gotta have patience um especially uh in this game because it's very very and you gotta can kind of control your emotions a little bit too but uh mainly patience risk versus reward divergence trend and the support and resistance so i do also use the 50 day moving average 100 day moving average and the 200 day moving average as well um, to kind of help with the trend uh, 50 day helps pretty good um, especially once the uh, candles kind of get above that you can kind of see um, the follow the trend on it as well um, i will go down time frames just to kind of see and you can kind of see obviously you're probably wondering why i'm taking this trade because it's obviously out of the channel um, which is a good thing too because that means it could be a potential reversal um, i know in the next hour and a half or so there is going to be some news out on uh, the pound, uh, the, the uh, Bre Brexit that is happening. So um, we'll see if that's going to affect the, or hit my stop loss or not either. So uh, hopefully not. Hopefully it, uh, things will go good. But um, yeah, so far we're kind of in a, a positive for this trade. Not really breaking even on since I lost uh, on the last trade. But um, we'll kind of see how that goes. But that's kind of the system that we have is pretty simple pretty easy uh i don't have like a million indicators um and i just have a few indicators just to kind of help i mean obviously i could do all this by hand but that's a lot of work and you know i, don't, I do some of it by hand especially look for support and resistance zones that aren't marked um because so if you take a look at let's take a look at another one that i was looking at earlier i believe it was the let me find it here yeah here we go nope that's not the one either um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, it was the Euro Kirk. Let's look for it here. Went too far. Oh, here we go. So, like, for example, right here. Um, we have divergence. No, this isn't the one I want to look at either. Which one is it? 
Uh, well, anyways, this one did signal a divergence, but obviously I'm not going to take it just because um, the trend is obviously not in the right direction. Uh, the momentum is actually signaling down. So it's just overall there's no support or I mean you could argue that this is support because obviously we have a low here and if you follow like the line if I made a line right where this is at you can kind of see how we did have kind of touched up here went down kind of touched up here went down um, kind of came close but not really so this could be you know argued as a support and resistance zone but um, I look for like the major ones so that's kind of especially the daily time frames and the higher ones we're going to look at. Um, and again, you can kind of see we have a trend, uh, like a triangle type thing that's forming here. So it's going to probably bounce in here before it breaks out somewhere. So we kind of kind of be watching the daily on this one. And we'll probably nothing will happen until in the next uh, week or two um, once we get closer to the narrowing down part before that happens. So i um, going to be doing a lot. And obviously, I got a signal right here, which is for this one. So I do get a signals and warnings about divergence. Um, support and resistance zone stuff like that so that does help quite a bit other than that yeah that's kind of what uh, the, what the plan is if you guys uh, you know want to try it or want to continue watching um, I'm gonna make a some links on the on the YouTube channel here of how you can follow me on like a, a, there's a an app um, I'll pull try to post videos too or not videos but um, when I make trades on my youtube channel so if you want to subscribe or hit the notification thing so you can kind of see when i'm taking trades i'll try to get one out when i can um otherwise if you want to use telegram um you can find me at or maybe I'll, I'll just post the link but i believe it's going to be um at micro profits fx um so you can um, subscribe to that too or just join that and then uh I'll uh, post uh, my trades uh, as far as that goes. I'll try to do, uh, I want to make a signal so that way people, if they want to pay a uh, monthly subscription, uh, once we get things rocking and rolling here, that you can just join that and that way you don't have to set it and forget it and just kind of, once you guys start to see that, everything's being more profitable and obviously everybody's making money. So that is the ultimate goal is uh, to do that. Let's go back to the chart here. All right, so uh, if we look at the five-minute chart as well, we can kind of see we're hitting the channel here. That's pointing up. The 15-minute channel is pointing up, and we're kind of, again, following this. So it'll probably drop back down, kind of bounce in the, my profit area, and then kind of hit back up. But it's got to break through this uh, major resistance here. Um, hopefully the news is uh, pretty positive as well. If not, then you can kind of see we're already breaking through it here in the uh, 30 minute is signaling an uptrend. I think the hour is not though. Oh, yeah, there it is. So the hour is, uh, I know earlier it wasn't. It was actually channeling down this way. So it did uh, switch a little bit there. The only one that hasn't switched yet is the four hour. That's uh, maintaining a downtrend. But like I said, we broke through it. Um, so my guess is it, it's going to reverse that as well. And then the daily is also signaling a downtrend. But uh, once we break out of it, it uh, I don't really follow the rules, but it's kind of you know it's to me it's going to be a huge reversal coming. So, um, but we'll see. It all depends on news and how far if it goes up or down for that. But the weekly is an uptrend, monthly is not so much. So 